Hi guys, so it is the start of the fall consignment season. I am very excited. In my area, consignment events are usually in the fall and in the spring. And um, I'm gonna miss a couple of the sales because we have family and stuff in town. But this was the very first event that I was able to attend and I'm really excited. So William is five and a half months old and Hannah is almost three. However, I tried to put William in a six to nine month, you know, one of those um, long sleeve, long legged, one piece, jumper romper things and it was six to nine months from Carter's and it was nearly too short in the crotch like I could barely snap it <laughs> and the legs are about an inch too short and the arms were like an inch too short so he it's like he's grown overnight he's probably had a really big growth spurt he's been sleeping and eating a lot lately so that would make sense so I didn't really buy too much nine month clothing for him. I really bought more six to twelve, nine to twelve month clothing. I have a couple items of six to nine already so I didn't want to like put a lot of money into that wardrobe and I think he's really just gonna blow right by that and go right into twelve months. He is a very very tall boy. I don't have a six month statistics obviously because he hasn't had a six month appointment yet but uh, he's really tall. <laughs> I think at four months he was 27 inches long so He's really big. And Hannah is in 4T, definitely. 3T pants are a little too tight. And 3T shirts are a little too short. So she is in 4T, sometimes even 5T, which is crazy because technically she's still two. Hmm. Um, so I have very tall kids, <laughs> apparently. Chris gave me a budget for this consignment season of uh, $200 because I only need to buy clothes. I don't really need to buy any big ticket items. So I thought that was pretty doable. It's hot in here. <laughs> um, I ended up spending $130 at this event. So, um, but there's still some things I want to buy. I want to buy Hannah with some more dresses and more shirts. And um, I still need to get like William's socks and random stuff like that. So I'm glad that I have money left over in the clothing budget for this season because I still have things I need to get. But this is a really good start. So I wanted to show you guys my haul. I don't think I did hauls for the spring events. I think I was really too busy being hugely pregnant. <laughs> but uh, So I haven't really done a haul video in a year. So I hope you appreciate watching this. A big, big thank you to my husband, Chris, who right now is upstairs with William. William, uh, he's crying today. <laughs> A lot. So, uh, if you hear him crying, know that my husband is with him and trying to soothe him. Ugh. But I might have to go up there. I, I might have to intervene. Okay, so I have a big laundry basket and I'll try to get through it. This is, um, my husband hates hearing the prices, but usually you guys like hearing the prices. So I'll, I'll do the prices for most things. This is a two piece, 12 months, $4. Um, it's one of those great fleece. I love brown fleecy pants from Carter's. I have them in nearly every size. I love them. They're super comfortable for the kid. They're really easy to match things with because it's just brown. It's just a neutral. Um, and they're just warm and snuggly. Oh, I love them. So, and this is a hooded long sleeve jacket. So I think this will get a lot of use. Four bucks. That was a good price. Um, I'll save that for later. These pants, I don't know what it is about these pants, but I love them. I think they look like little, um, coal miner pants or railroad pants. I don't know what you would call them. Uh, pumpkin patch, six to 12 months. They've got this great gray stripe to them. Really cute cargo pockets. And when she rang these, these up, they came up as invalid. And usually when there's any issues with the ticket, they don't sell the item. And so I was like so scared that I wasn't gonna, <laughs> gonna get them. And that's how I knew. I really like these. These are like my favorite. That's why I spent four bucks on them. Pumpkin Patch is a is a brand that I usually see at uh, Nordstrom Rack, which is like kind of a cheap, uh, it's like a clearance rack for Nordstrom basically. So I know it's a good brand, but I'm not sure very much about it other than that. Anyways, very cute pants. Really just some plain, thin, um, cargo pants, six to 12 months from Old Navy. I like the thinner pants, even though they might not be as warm, they're very comfortable. Um, and they're not like, they don't get all bindy on the little kids because he, you know, he's not even crawling yet. He's just like sitting there like a lump. So, um, he can't like, he can't really like adjust himself if the clothing is uncomfortable. So I'd like to make sure it's like really soft and moves nicely on him. Does that make any sense? It's probably me just being ridiculous. Wow. I spent four bucks on these. All right. I spent four bucks on these pants. Apparently, I was getting tired. <laughs> um, this is just a Carter's 12 month long sleeve onesie. I like getting long sleeve ones because it's cold weather is coming up, but this was only a dollar. 
So I thought that was a really good deal. I like putting William in t-shirts because he's cloth diapered. Um, Chris like hates snaps. So he hates the snaps on onesies. And he's much happier to change diapers if the kid is wearing a t-shirt. Plus I think t-shirts look really cute on little boys. Uh, so this was uh, from Koala Kids. It was $1.50. Very cute. And I think these are nine months. Just because, yeah, six to nine. William is very tall, but he's very thin. Like he's, he's not chubby at all. So he doesn't need the bigger sizes for width. He just needs it for length. But it doesn't really matter as much on t-shirts. So I didn't get a lot of 12 month t-shirts. I think these are all six to nine months. Again, Koala Kids, two fifty for this one. I think there are some more t-shirts. Oh, yep, right here. What I did was I found a consigner whose prices I really liked, Amy Co. six to nine months, rock and roll concert. I thought this was a very cute t-shirt. The long sleeve underneath it. <laughs> um, two fifty. I found a consigner number that I really liked, and basically you just look on the tag, and at least with our system, there's a little four digit number right here, and it's a consigner number. And if you come across something that's a great band brand and like a really great price, usually the consigner's um, stuff is all in the same section, because they just take it and put it right on the rack, right? So look at everything right by there, because you're likely to find all that consigner stuff. And that's what I did. I found a consigner that was had really great brands and prices and condition. And uh, they're all like the style that I liked. So I bought like probably 90% of the stuff that she was selling in uh, 6 to 9 and, and 9 to 12 month stuff. So you're welcome. Uh, $2 for a long sleeve shirt. I thought it was cute. I thought this... <laughs> eh, Daddy's little first mate, which was just funny. So it's just a circle onesie, long sleeve, $2. Um, and a Carter's 9 month onesie, but it's long sleeve. So... He'll get a little bit of use out of that. Two dollars. I really liked the applique too. I thought it was very cute. William looks really good in dark colors because he is so pale. So you'll see I didn't buy a lot of like white onesies. I got a lot of like saturated colors because they just look better on him. I thought <laughs> this shirt was so cute. It's got a little thermal striped t-shirt underneath it. The applique was really good condition um, and very cute. And uh, this was nine months but again it's just a t-shirt so I don't have to worry about length to snap it. This was three dollars but it's like in new condition. You can tell by when you look at the Carter's tag it hasn't been um, messed up from washing and drying so this is a really good condition shirt. So I didn't mind spending three bucks that's fine. Um, Circo brand but it's a really cute long sleeve heather gray t-shirt a dollar fifty. Thought that was cute. This <laughs> This little rain jacket isn't gonna, you know, it's gonna rain in Oregon now until like June. So raincoats are always really cute for kids to have. This is six to twelve months, so I'm not sure how much he's gonna get, like, use it because, you know, when kids aren't walking, they don't necessarily need a raincoat. They just need like a hat or a rain shoes or something. They're gonna be like in the stroller covered, right? Usually, but once they can get out and start walking, then they really need a raincoat. At least that's kind of what I found with Hannah. So this is a 6 to 12 months. I'm not sure how much he's going to use it, but it was $5, and it was just so cute with the little the little frogs. I loved it. So, and it's iPlay brand, which is uh, uh, such a good brand. Such a good brand. I have all of their rain hats and um, some, even some s swim diapers and stuff. Rain shield, PVC free, which is very important. And uh, this is their small slash medium. So I thought that was really cute. I'm not sure how much he's going to use it, but darling. This outfit was probably one of the steals of the day. 12 months, it comes with a hooded, long sleeve, zip-up jacket, a onesie with cute little orange and navy blue um, guitars on it, and then these sweatpants jeans, which William had in newborn size, and they're so awesome. They have a little cute waistband. The whole thing is sweatpant material, but it's stitched and everything to look like denim. So they're very, very cute. This three-piece outfit was $4. So, I can't even beat that. It's such a good price. This was a two-piece outfit. It was kind of a weird outfit, though, because the price or the um, sizes were different. So, this is uh, Children's Place, I think. Yeah, 12 months. But a cute little, like, Henley-style t-shirt. And then a pair of jeans from Old Navy, right? But these are 12 to 18 months. So, 
12 month shirt, 18 month pants, but $4 for the two pieces. So they're both in really good condition, so I thought that was a good deal. Plus I wanted to get some 18 month clothing because with the sales being in March, usually for the spring, William's birthday is in March. So he's probably gonna be in 12 to 18 month clothing by his first birthday. So I wanted to get some items so I'd be prepared. Really soft fleecy pajamas are always a must during the winter. These are 12 month. I love the snowman print. That was very, very cute. Um, $3.50. Got him some blue pants. These are Talbot Kids, 12 months. $3. They're like kind of thin, but they've got a, a nice weight to them. Really cute pocket detail. I know it's hard to see with the denim or with the uh, dark color, but these are in really good condition. So three bucks is a good price for me. I think considering how tall he is, two piece pajamas are also going to be a really good idea. These are 12 month. Uh, what brand? Faded Glory. So short sleeve t-shirt and little striped pants, two piece pajamas for two bucks. Now I wanted to make sure he had some clothes, some like cute button up shirts to wear to church. That was the idea. So I got him this shirt, which is very cute. And I think it was, yeah, two fifty. That's a good price. Mark Jason, I don't know what brand that is, but 12 months is a size. So that was very cute. But right next to it was this shirt from Oshkosh which I just thought was darling. I could see him like wearing this if we go apple picking or something. Ah, $3. I love Oshkosh, especially for little boys. I don't have very many like Oshkosh bagosh overalls for him yet, but I can see that coming when he's a little older. Another pair of two-piece pajamas. These are Leverett Baby, which I've never, I don't know that brand at all, but six to 12 months. This was part of that, I found a consigner number that I liked and I bought all of her stuff. Three bucks for these two-piece two piece pajamas. I thought the applique was in really good condition and very cute. And again, this is that consigner that I liked. So <laughs> we'll start. They have these sweatpants with the little stars for where they're crawling. And then a long sleeve. This is great if it's like really cold outside. Kite Baby Organic, um, six to 12 months. The two-piece set was six bucks. But I figured Organic, it was a nice brand that I've never, you know, it's not real popular. Um, I don't know, maybe you've seen that logo before. But, and nice and heavy. So, I like that. That was a good deal. Some more fuzzy pajamas. I think these are 12 months. A little dino zip up, which is awesome. It always makes the husband very happy. Three bucks. Um, this, I think these are going to completely wash him out, but who cares because they're just pajamas. Three dollars, nine months, so he'll wear these very soon. But I thought the little monster was so cute. <laughs> and then I think the rest is Hannah's. Oh, nope. So I got some burp claws because we go through them like water. Hopefully that'll slow down, but these were a good price. It was just two bucks for four of them. And then my little splurge for him, <laughs> he's not really wearing many uh, shoes right now. He really wears those socks that look like they're tennis shoes because those are so cute. Um, but I got him these <laughs> little Converse. They're the ones with the, they're the one star. They are in perfect condition. There's like no wear on the sole, no scuff marks on the shoe or on the tips of the shoes. The laces look like they have never even been tied. Um, and they were $7. So I thought those were so cute. I showed Chris and he like rolled his eyes. He was like, babies don't need to wear shoes. I was like, these are a size five. Like, <laughs> he's not gonna be a baby when he's wearing these. And these are very cute. They'll go up on the shelf and he can grow into them, but I love them. There's something about a little boy wearing Converse shoes that's just idyllic and perfect and amazing. <laughs> so I wanted to get Hannah some clothes for preschool. Some cheap clothes that didn't look necessarily cheap, but um, you know I didn't invest a lot of money in, so I wasn't upset if she came home covered in paint and dirt and mud and you know totally happy. So since her birthday is coming up, um, I got <laughs> it's my birthday T-shirt, just a couple bucks, but I thought that was good. But really, as far as school clothes go, I got her this Baby Gap T-shirt. She loves pink. Two dollars. 
Got her some leggings from Jimboree. These are uh, size four, very long, so that's good. And these are three bucks, but they're in really good shape. Like really good. There's no wear marks around the ankle. The elastic on the waist was still nice and strong. And there wasn't a lot of wear in the crotch or anything. So I don't think these got much use. If you have a little girl that is wearing a lot of dresses, especially in the fall, one thing I think you have to have in their wardrobe is a, a white cardigan. It just goes with everything. And it's even more perfect if it's kind of a shorter cardigan. So this is a little half length, but long sleeve. So it'll be perfect for her to throw on over her dresses. The one she has in her closet, I'm ashamed to say, is probably 24 months. I think it's really small. It still kind of fits her though. So, but anyways, I wanted to get her a bigger one that was more appropriate. Um, and this was $4, but again, she is going to use this probably every Sunday for the rest of the fall. So I'll be good. And this is all the pants I got Hannah. So these are probably going to be non-preschool jeans. These are her Gap, Gap pants. They have really cute little star detail, really cute stitching on the pockets and on the inseam. Very cute. Four dollars. Really great shape. But for preschool, these are Jimboree. They've got such a cute cut to them. Like they come in nicely at the waist, they bell out nicely at the, at the hem. Really cute little star, felt star details. Here at the pocket. Cute little colored buttons. I thought they were just darling, <laughs> honestly. So when I saw it, I think these are only two bucks. Yeah, I had to get those. These are some Izod dress pants, but these were only $2, size four. Old Navy 4T, $3, spent a whopping three bucks. Very cute, little pocket details. The front and back. And these just look, these look like cute little girl pants that were popular when I was a little kid. 4T, Faded Glory. Do you remember these like kind of colored khakis? The waist, the elastic waistband on the back? I feel like I owned these pants. But really cute, two bucks, so who cares really if she gets them all stained and stuff. They're cute and perfect for preschool. And then <laughs> I got her some, some like Christmassy pajamas. Two piece, which is perfect for her. Pink, she loves pink. Four bucks, good price. So there you go. And her splurge was another pair of shoes. Um, Keen shoes. These are in really great shape. There's like no wear on the soles, hardly any scuff marks on the toes. I don't think that these were worn very often at all. You can see them. Really cute. Ten dollars. Ten bucks. Cute, huh? I think she's gonna get a ton of wear out of these. She is um, about a nine and a half going into a size ten. So these are size ten. So hopefully she can grow into them and use them for a long time. And then the thing, <laughs> the stupid little thing that I was most excited about William has been in the Ergo Carrier a lot lately. Hannah was a little older when I started using her, um, when I started putting her in the Ergo Carrier, so she never had an issue with like chewing on those straps. I saw that they sold teething straps for the Ergo Carrier, but I was like, that's ridiculous, like Hannah never did that. But William, as soon as I put him in the Ergo Carrier, he's chewing on those straps. So I'm overlooking the cloth diaper section and they've got a bunch of um, hemp inserts and stuff. None of really good prices or good condition. But then I grabbed this little ball of cotton and I was like, what is that? They are the teething pads for an ergo carrier and these things are like in perfect condition. Like I don't think they've been washed because the tag is like not faded. The snaps are in good condition. There's no stains and they were two bucks. I was like, this is exactly what I needed. I was going to buy them full price online because I was tired of having to wash my ergo carrier all the time because he's like soaking the whole thing. So this will be perfect. I'm going to wash them and then throw them on my ergo carrier. Anyways, so that was my $130 <laughs> haul for a little boy and a little girl. I hope you enjoyed watching and I might do one more haul this season and then I'll probably do another haul for like Christmas gifts. So if you enjoyed watching, hit the thumbs up below, leave a comment and um, I will talk to you guys later.